It's another beautiful day to be a Raider. Draped in the silver and black. I represent the shield. I represent the swords. It's that time of night again, Raider Nation. And you come back. Why? Because it's time. It's time to bring the Happy Black Friday! And you know what Black Friday means on Raider Reaction, Raider Nation. That means it's time to dust off another classic from the Raider Archives as we dip back in time in our silver and black time machine. It's an exciting time to be a Raider. Silver and Black's on the field. Training camp's in session. The official Raider Reaction webcast returns Monday. It's a great time to be a Raider. But tonight is Black Friday. And as we do every Friday on Raider Reaction, it's time... to get into another classic. From the Raider Archives. Bear with me. Appears I had a little technical difficulties. As we dip back. In trouble. Chased by Mack and just throws this one away. Kirk Cutter, who was the offensive coordinator for five years in Jacksonville. 2016. This will be Raiders at Bucks. And Tampa Bay will start at the 25-yard line. Mains out with a hamstring injury for Tampa Bay. 
And on first and ten, it is Rogers who has pushed back Perry Riley Jr. Getting behind the line of scrimmage to make that tackle. Winston's first pass of the day is incomplete. Coming into the game is T.J. Carey, who is six feet tall on third down and 11. Winston looking outside, and it's caught by Mike Evans for a Tampa Bay first down. And it went right at T.J. Carey. On first and 10, Winston looking to go back to the air. Dumps it down low, and it's caught by, and it dropped by Cameron Bray. Had it and lost it. 230-pound Mike Evans. They pitch it, and it's Anton Smith to the left side and shoved out by D.J. Hayden. It brings up third down to Winston. Pressure coming from Mack. Winston chased out by Autry now. Jameis will keep it. Flag is down. Winston into Oakland territory inside the 40-yard line, but... We do have our first penalty of the day. Holding offense number 76. Two-yard penalty, third down. The referee today, Terry McCauley, and that's the third holding penalty this year against the left tackle, Donovan Smith. Well, this is going to be against Khalil Mack right here. As Mack tries to get out, as Winston leaves, you can see he just got wrapped around. And right there, getting... That left tackle, Donovan Smith, on his heel. Wipes out a 19-yard run. Third and 14. Winston again on the run. And he's just going to keep it. And he's down at the 34-yard line. 17 straight tries for Tampa Bay without an opening drive touchdown. That's the second longest streak in the NFL behind the Jaguars as Anger punched this one out of bounds. First quarter, minus 22 in point differential. Carr looking to throw on first down. Completes it to Cooper at the 20. Stiff arm to the 24-yard line. And it will be second and short for Oakland. Darrell Smith on the tack. This Murray at running back next to Carr. Carr back to the air. It's a Crabtree. Trying to break free. Lunges forward close to the sticks. And we'll see where they mark it. Chris Conti on the tackle. As we look at the Raiders offense in a moment, there is a penalty flag down. Unsportsmanlike conduct, taunting, offense number 15. The foul court after the play, the down count after this is the goal. That is number 15's first foul that can lead toward disqualification. So Michael Crabtree called for the penalty on what was a one yard. Oh, yeah, because he started right in his face. That's a good call. Bullshit like that is why he ain't a Raider no more. Roberts, the intended receiver, team's player of the week, who has the most punts of 50 or more yards in the NFL this year. Trying to boom this one, and he does. Driving out of Humphreys back to the 20. He's got some room to run. To the 30. Humphreys cuts back at the 35 and spun down at the 38, but there is a flag, two flags, one at the line of scrimmage. And one you ain't got no love for Seth Lines? Line. You don't think one more year for Seth? Holding, receiving team number 53. I mean, with the shitty ass offensive coordinator last year, can't you gotta you gotta throw some of that out a little? Tampa Bay backed up inside its own 10 to start this drive with Jaquiz Rogers, and he is taken down by TJ Carey. Let's go down to Chris Fisher. Thank you for joining us, Raider Nation. New and old, our band of pirates. As always, we appreciate any second you spend with us on Raider Reaction. Tonight, as every Friday, is Black Friday on Raider Reaction as we dust off another classic from the Raider archives. Tonight, we got 2016. Raiders at the fake-ass pirates. Where y'all watching from, Raider Nation? Throw it up in the comments. Throw it up in the comments. Thank you for joining us on another Black Friday. Where every Black Friday. The Raiders prevail. Ongoing through this football game. 
It's Rogers who committed to the 45. Still going, pushing those legs forward to the 49 yard line. Run between the tackles that go outside. He loves contact. He gets it again here. He cuts it back for the first down. To Bruce Rogers. We got Ohio and New Mexico in the house. Maryland in the house. <laughs> troll, troll, trolling. And Tennessee in the house. New York in the house. It is a Raider Nation on a Black Friday. Washington in the house. Cali, of course, in the house. Dirt Cutter so committed to the run game as he's been the last couple of weeks. Flag New Mexico down, in the house on a Black space. Friday. He gets to the 30-yard line. This is going to be an illegal shift. Rick, the Bucks didn't quite get Illinois. Set, shifted exactly the way they should have. Illegal shift. Offense. Two men moving prior to the snap did not reset. Five-yard penalty. Second down. Green matched up with Amerson again on second and 13. Winston screen pass to Smith at the 40. Smith still on his feet across the 35 yard line. Winston now in trouble. Throws and completes it to Humphreys. Down the sideline. Cuts back and tripped up at the 7 yard line. He stepped out of bounds at the 16 yard line. And they're going to bring it back. Eyes down the field, felt the pressure, but got rid of it. Florida and in the house. Adam Humphreys, you see right there, stepped out of bounds. What's up, Hot Neil? It. They have challenged this spot. Tampa Bay has thrown the challenge flag. Jack Del Rio, who has thrown the challenge flag. Not this coming Black Friday, but the following Black Friday, which is August 10th. We will have a very special Black Friday presented to you by Raider Reaction as we will be bringing you the first preseason game live because we are pirates. So make sure you stay tuned to the page because it, it is our mission as it was last season to make sure you get a seat every minute of the preseason regardless of what the powers that be say. You'll watch it live. They're ranked 10th in the NFL right now red zone defense. Winston in trouble and he is sacked. Khalil Mack with his fourth sack of the season. And Mack. Oh, hot nail. A sack in three straight games. You didn't. Bruce Serban right here at the bottom of your screen, and he gets in the exact same time Mack does, just a half second later. Both end edge rushers were right in in Winston's lap right there. Mack gets him around the top quarter, and the fact that when the Raiders defense gets down to their own end, they're really good. Third and 15, Winston has time. Dumps it down to the tight end. Stocker, his first catch of the year, but nothing doing as Malcolm Smith is right there, and out comes the field goal unit. He was two for three last week in the win over San Francisco. And this kick is good. It's third straight win, and they have a 3 nothing lead with Jalen Rashard back deep. To I'm not even going to touch on the Mac topic. You want to hear about the Mac, what I feel about the Mac topic? Tune in Monday. It's our return to the official Raider Reaction webcast at 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Pacific. with the carry. Decision making. When to throw the ball away, when to hold on to it. It's Rashard who's got some room, spinning his way across the 40, and flags coming late. Holding, offense number 66. In yard penalty, second down. Rivers, Cooper, and Bradley. Carr looking for Cooper, now comes back the other way to Rivera. He's got it for a first down. The tight end, Michael Rivera, picks up 27. Bradley McDougal on yeah. the tackle. This is his vision this way to the left. That holds the safety in the middle of the field and moves him that way. You see that two steps. The safety took to the right hand side. Moves over right to the 44 yard line, first and 10. Latavius Murray. He's met at the line of scrimmage. Levante David comes up to make that tackle. On second down and nine. Car pump fakes now throws sideline incomplete. Now, earlier this week, Dirk Cutter gained, but it helps us to have them there. Third and long. Car pusher coming. Ball is out. And Tampa Bay has recovered. And this 
this case, both those things go awry. You see, off the edge comes Noah Spence and just gets to him. Comes right in around, doesn't really hit the ball, hits the elbow, and that's a fumble. Second loss fumble this year for Derek Carr. And Tampa Bay with good field position to start this drive, but Chris Rogers going the wrong way, thanks to Bruce Irvin. The edge. Second to 12. Winston over the middle, and it's caught by the tight end, Cameron Brink. He's got a Tampa Bay first down up to the 19 yard line. Already five plays of 10 plus yards for the Bucs, and Winston does take the snap, and now they're saying he didn't get it off in time. That is the end of the first quarter. Tampa Bay driving and leading. 3 0 at the, the end of one. Far Thank far you for joining us on the Raider Reaction Black Friday. Silver and Black Theater as we dust off another classic. Man, I ain't gonna lie, that was a pretty damn solid catch and that wasn't terrible defense there. Sometimes the guy just makes a fucking play, man, and, and that... That was a nice catch. Big ass pirates. And the kick is good. So off the turnover, Tampa Bay is able to put seven. By some no name ass receiver. It's Rashard fielding it on a hop, and it's a touchback. The Raiders will start at the 25 yard line. across the 25 and plows his way up to the 29 yard line a defensive perspective second and six back to back carries from Murray and he's tripped up right at the line of scrimmage NFL only Miami is better on third down they run it and it's Richard off to the races first down yardage for Oakland a 20 yard pickup for Jalen Richard Nice yes, play. I was at this game. Uh, we had eighth row uh, seats in the end, in the end zone. Actually, that the uh, final touchdown was scored in. We were in the uh, celebration in the end zone. Johnny Holton actually jumped in the stands and autographed my son's hat in the middle of the celebration. It's so like this is like one of the greatest moments ever in my son's football spectating career which is you know all of about three goddamn years but th this is his highlight game you ask him what was the greatest moment he's ever witnessed in Raider history and this is it they don't think there was a guy in that in the vicinity car was inside the pocket and just threw it now Crabtree was kind of down in the middle of the field. Yeah, there it is. There's the flag. I thought Austin Howard moved too before the snap. Intentional grounding, offense number four. Ball replaced with the spot and pass. Loss of down, fourth down. Yeah, there's no doubt. Derek Carr just threw that ball. There's nobody out there. Watch the right th right there. You can see on the right hand side Howard moved early, but there's Derek Carr felt the pressure. He's thinking so. inside the 20 right now. He could get to the end zone from Fort Myers, this guy with his leg. Humphreys with a fair catch at the 19-yard line. This pass of the day was incomplete. The play Sean Smith got hurt on has not misfired since. Back to the air, off the hands of Evans, who had some space at the 35-yard line. Since his first pass What's up, day. Leslie? Happy Black quarter. Friday. On second and ten, Rodgers. And Rodgers... Up to the 26-yard line, back to New York, NFL Today update. And the Chargers have been playing well, three and four mark. Third down, Winston throws back to Humphreys, and Humphreys with a flag down has the first, but let's see what the penalty is. If you all remember, there was just a few penalties in this game. Just a few. That's number 64. Five-yard penalty, third down. It's on the left guard, Kevin Pamfield. He averages eight yards after the catch. Winston, incomplete. Again, a bit high for the 6'5", Mike Evans. Jersey's around there. 
Go through your reads. Go to the check down. First three and out today by the Tampa Bay offense. And this is Rashard from his own 30. Dances his way across the 35. And now Flag comes in from behind as Rashard is tackled at the 38-yard line. A 49-yard boot from Brian Anger. Holding, receiving team number 25. 10-yard penalty. First down, timeout. Against D.J. Hayden. First and 10, Jakar in the offense from the 28-yard line. Looking to throw on first down. As Bam! He's just going to come straight down the sideline, and it's a complete bust by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I always He's liked Olawale, man. I thought he was solid. With I don't think he was sideline. used properly. That is about as easy as it gets in the NFL. Don't know whether the Raiders saw something on tape or whether Tampa Bay just got confused. I think it's the latter of the two. But from the three-yard line, Murray, the running back, and a flag comes in, and the play clock was fired. That's... Five yard penalty. First down. We spoke about it in the open. You just can't let that happen. 35 straight red zone drives for the Raiders with points. Longest streak in the NFL right now. Murray makes the catch in the backfield. And he's tackled at the line of scrimmage. Levante David, William Golston on the stop. Bell behind Jordy Nelson of Green Bay. Carr looking for Crabtree. And Crabtree's got it, but he pushed off. And this is going to be offensive pass interference. Yeah, Crabtree said he would tell the media. Yeah, he knew he did. Offensive number 15. Senior field. Second down. Yeah, he came out. And as soon as he caught it, he saw the flag come out. Working right there. Well, yeah. Come on. Now, no <laughs> question. Fuck Stevie right Wonder can see that shit. Uh, embellished yard line. Carr to Richard at the 15. And Richard is wrapped up by Levante David. It will be third and goal for He was, Lines. Notorious for it. And he's got three touchdowns. You have to be sneaky about it, man. You can't be so damn obvious if you're going to do it. Vernon Hargraves, the first round pick out of Florida. Got a hand on that one. And out comes Sebastian Janikowski. For 75 penalty yards per game. They already have 66 here in the first half. And Janikowski's 31 yard field goal is good. The Buccaneers lead. It's 10 to 3. Janikowski kicking it away. And Ryan Smith, this was right at the goal line, scoops it up. And Smith, still going, he's tackled at the 15 yard line. That happened a couple of times last week for Tampa Bay against San Francisco. First and 10 from the 15. And they keep it on the ground on first down with Peyton Barber. They didn't use a timeout right in that situation. You may be right, Dusty. You may be right. Winston incomplete. That one sailed on him, intended for Cecil Shorts. So it's third and not open. I'll tell you what, Crab is not going to be as happy with fucking Flacco as he was with Carr. I can tell you that. To Mike Evans, but now another flag has come in. There are 2,000 in the defense. Holding, defense number 29, penalties declined. Offside defense, number 53, that penalties declined. First down. Winston, pump base, now chased. And he's going to keep it himself and slides down. And that flag comes in. Wow, it's ridiculous. The Raiders are absolutely... I think he was hurt at this time. Lines of some bitch was always hurt. He only had like what two good seasons. He was hurt or suspended. He was suspended in 2017, I believe. So I think this is when he was injured. <laughs> He is tackled at the 42-yard line. It will be third down for Tampa Bay. To guys like Adam Humphreys, so that he'll look at least at once in a while at another receiver. Third down and six. Winston, and that one is nearly intercepted. I don't think Terrecchio is going to be the kicker. It's going to be the uh, kid from Florida. I think you're going to get the pair. They're both going to be our special teams. 
because one already picks and holds for the other. They're familiar with each other. And guess what? It's against the Raiders again. Man, that's an insult to Byron Leftwich. After this is the goal. First down. Carr is out of the shotgun. Quick pass to Crabtree. Gets out of the end zone. Crabtree breaks a tackle. Cuts back and has the first down. And that gives the Raiders some breathing room. It's Murray. And Murray gets to the 24-yard line. DeAndre Washington at running back on second and four. And he takes the handoff. Washington still on his feet. DeAndre Washington off to the races and drive down at midfield. On some room. Through traffic, a gain of 28. The balance that these small guys have, number one is Steve Tasker for one of the high behind the line, but you really have to wrap up and bring a smaller, stocky running back. Play today. That time it's DeAndre Washington. On first and 10, the team is Murray. First of steam, still on his feet. And to the 43-yard line with 3.20 to go. Bradley McDougal on the tackle. Uh, you can feel a different sense of urgency from this Raider off. Now there's a late, late flag. And that just came out. Very down. late. Against the Raiders. What? That no. was after the play. The formation. Offense number 74 did not report as an eligible receiver and lined up on the end of the line. Oh, wow. Or five-yard penalty, first down. Raiders in the first half. Murray, back to midfield. Carr over the middle of Murray, makes the catch and leveled immediately. Carr is short, and Tampa Bay not fooled. So the Raiders now one for six on third downs. Here's Marquette King with Humphreys back deep for Tampa Bay. Let's this one bounce, and it takes a Raiders top right to the 10-yard line. And pop up, a nice play to get you in good position. They do run it on first down with Rodgers across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Trying to get Tampa Bay to punt. Another run with Rodgers. Let's see if Del Rio calls time out here. I don't know. That's a good question, Popeye. Just trying to get to half. Oakland trying to go 5-0 and on the road for the first time since 1977 when John Madden was the head coach. They'll start the second half at their own 25-yard line, and we start with a report from Chris Fisher. Offensive drive so far in this game. On first down, Carr. Sidearm talk. Down, coming out of the half, 10-3. to three. If you're just joining us, or if you've been with us, new or old, our band of pirates, thank you as always for joining us on Ray Reaction Black Friday, Silver and Black Theater. ACDC. With the protection of Carr, he has a lot of time, doesn't feel it. That's a nice double move by Amari Cooper. No, that's not that's great. The guy's got all those catches. I can't, I can't, that that is. I can't put my finger on move it. For the Raiders. First and ten. Play action. Carr. The screen pass to Murray. And Murray gets a yard. Pro, they're matched up again today. Quick pass right back to Amari Cooper. And Cooper out of bounds. It will be third down for the Raiders. Yep. It's third and six. Car over the middle. Roberts. And that one is incomplete. No, they're giving it to him. They're moving the chain. Wow. Got it. Not think that Roberts brought it in. And that angle might be tough to overturn. Oakland hurries to the line and they get the playoff. So great job by Derek Carr to make sure that Dirk Cutter could not get another angle at that catch and throw the challenge flag. Two third down conversions on this drive for Oakland. Pressure coming. Carr steps up. Looking in zone for Cooper. Incomplete, but there's the flag in the end zone. Brent Grimes came in late and made 
make contact with Cooper. He tried to go up over the top. Defense number 24. The foul occurred in the end zone. The ball will be placed at the one yard line. First down. Maze this out there. Watch Grimes come over the top and try and make a play on it. You can't go through him to do that. And that was significantly affected Cooper's chance to get that catch. It was, it was a, early. It was a bad decision by Derek Carr to throw that. Super job by Grimes. He's the running back. Ola Wally at that? fullback. Play action. Carr on the move. Tosses it. And it's caught by Donald Penn. The Deep in. Man, this was awesome because you know they drew that play up just for Deep in to be the ultimate fuck you to Tampa for putting his ass out on the curb. Tampa Bay after the 2013 season. Well, against his former team, he never forgot. He had a good stretch here in Tampa Bay, and they released him. And now that he's become a Raider, he's actually playing some of the best football of his career. And right there, that... The red zone friend. Hey, kudos to Jack Del Rio and Bill Musgrave, too, for deciding that one during the week. They had their first touchdown of the afternoon. Donald Penn, the left tackle, with the touchdown catch to Todd Things at 10. This is Smith on the return for Tampa Bay across the 20 and shoved out at the 24-yard line. Receiver three catches for 45 yards. Play action on first and ten. Winston in trouble, and Winston is spun down. Second sack today for Khalil. Man, pay the Mac. Pay the Mac. Pay the Mac. Khalil Mac. Khalil Mac. Just back up to his house with whatever the hell it takes. Pay the Mac. He overshoots the intended receiver, Cecil Shorts. Situation, third and 15, obvious passing situation. Protect the football first and foremost. Winston again looking deep for Shepard, and that is way overthrown. And a quick three and out by the Tampa Bay offense. That series to start the second half for the Buccaneers. Anger from his own five-yard line. This is a short putt. Good hang time. Anger leads the NFL in hang time. On first and ten. It's a handoff to Latavius Murray in the middle. And Murray to the 40-yard line. Andre Holmes in motion. And they go back to the ground with Murray this time. The right side and across the 45-yard line. And that's good for an Oakland first down. Quan Alexander on the tackle. On first and ten. Car to Crabtree and it's incomplete. Looked like Crabtree should have had that one. Second drop this season for Crabtree. He had eight last year. Car and that pass is caught by Murray. Cooper. And he's inside the 40 for another Oakland first down. Seven minutes to go, third quarter. Car to Olawali. And a kick and around that tackle by Levante David. Give to Washington. And Washington picks up a couple of yards. Third down for Oakland. Third down and six. Carr looking deep for Cooper. Separation. Touchdown. Amari. Boom. Touchdown. Alright. Drops it in the barrel, baby. That was beautiful. Pass of the day. Just the second touchdown this season for Amari Cooper. The other one came against San Diego week five. Extra point is good of the day with 5.30 to go in the third quarter. Janikowski kicks it away to Smith. And he takes a knee. First and 10 from the 25-yard line. Jaquiz Rogers at running back. And Rogers... Picks up three yards on the play. Even though the tree was in his way. This family is here today making the drive from Miami. Rogers has a Tampa Bay first down. Two for his last eight for 13 yards. Rogers and he is wrapped up and thrown down by Shalit Calhoun. Second and 12. Winston 
Oh man, Grimes' wife's a piece of work, man. That woman, damn. You need that chick on a choke chain and a fucking muzzle. Shake and bake on the first guy there. Following the timeout, second and eight. Carr incomplete looking for Crabtree, but a flag comes in. You would think so, Dusty, but he still has a job with the shitty box even this season. It's amazing that that chick, she ran him out of fucking Miami, but a, a good corner is valuable enough, even just a good one, that even with a... Loudmouth bitch for a life like that, somebody will still pay your ass. It's amazing. As he tried to bring it in, and now third and long for the Raiders. Three for three this half on third downs. Carr completes this one to Rivera, but he is well short of a first down. Levante David wraps him up. Adam Humphreys awaiting the punt at his own 40 yard line. And this one is shanked by King. You don't see that very often. It does get a friendly roll. And now there is a flag down back at the line of scrimmage. I don't think you take that. Now, man downfield on the kick. Mm. Offense, number 57. Five yard penalty added to the end of the kick. Yeah. First down. Goes on the rookie, Corey James. Pass and an interception. Good field position for Tampa Bay. Jacquez Rogers is stopped in the line last week. Today they have just 77 yards on the ground. Play action. Winston steps up, fires it, completes it to Humphreys. Humphreys still going. Inside the 20, 10. That was some fucking spectacular tackling. Great job after the catch by Adam Humphreys. A gain of 42. Coming in from your left side, uh, you can see Jameis Winston, nice hard play action pass. He had his inside. I mean, come on, wrap a motherfucker up, up well. man. Come on. First read, man, it even makes you mad down. watching it when it's a replay. That's how Winston shitty that tackling was. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Cameron Brayton with the third touchdown of the year. And now seven for seven. Well, Brayton did a nice job. They, they saw the matchup. They had exactly what they wanted. They had Bray on Malcolm Smith, a linebacker. Almost an unfair matchup that close to the end zone to the extra point to tie things at 17. And that one is no good. Shank. Roberto Aguayo misses an extra point for the second time this season. Aguayo this year, five field goals, two extra points. And Tampa Bay now down by one. With a Damn near, Dusty. Damn near. Rashard it was ridiculous. On the return. Rashard across the top. Being at a game when there's this many penalties because we were at this game is insane. Because at least when you're watching it on TV, you know, as soon as there's a penalty, they pop, it's popped up on the screen. They're telling you what's going on. Constantly, when the play is being redone over and fucking over again, when you're the, it's it's something else, man. He surges up to the 42-yard line. McDougal on the tackle and some extracurricular. 
down on the field. Back to Rashard. And he's going to be about a half yard shy of a first down. Fourth carry for Jalen Rashard. He had a combined five carries. Was bumped up a little bit for a couple of weeks, but not truly. And Murray on third and one, and he falls forward for the first Yeah, I think down. he's just lost, Mark. He have a season high, 18 <laughs> Mark Anthony, I think he's just lost. First and ten. There's only two on the play. I don't think he's bright enough to be that. considered a troll. He's looking to throw. On the run, it's broken up. Intended for Clive Walford and the safety, McDougal, who's been very active today, got a hand on that one. Lead by one, thanks to a missed extra point by Roberto Aguayo. Carr on the move. Carr throws on the run. And that's caught by Crabtree, and he's got an open first down. The Raiders play no. have such problems. Back on the ground. And it's Washington with a minimal game. Second and ten. They fake the end around and a screen to Rashard. And Rashard in trouble, and he is tackled for a loss. Great job of containment by the Tampa Bay defense. It's third down. At the yardage, and they get a Janikowski field goal range. Third and 13. Carr looking for another big one, and it's incomplete. Over the head of Crabtree. Third car to the one-on-one -on -one coverage. King punting to Humphreys, trying to pin him deep. And that one out of bounds. Let's see where they come up to mark it. At the 18-yard line, that's where Tampa Bay on the NFL today. 8.33 to go on the fourth. Tampa Bay with the ball down by one. They start this drive on the ground with Anton Smith, and he gets a couple yards on the play. You have to wonder, keep in mind, he did miss the field of the extra point from 33 earlier in the quarter. Humphreys nearly with a one-handed catch. He's on this third down and seven. They're four for ten on third downs. Winston fires, broken up by T.J. Carey. And a flag comes in. Come on! How is that a freaking flag? How is that a flag? Oh, come on. Oh, that was going to show that again. That was a bullshit call. Seven forty-four to go. It's second and ten. Reggie Nelson Winston burnt as air. usual. Screen pass to Rogers across the forty, and Rogers falls up to the forty-five yard line. It will be third. Oh, uh, he's a bitch Tampa pigeon Bay. fan. Now here at Raider Reaction, we refer to them as the Rain City bitch pigeons. I'm sorry. Raiders have got like fifteen guys on the field. Exaggerating. Defense, twelve minute formation. Five yard penalty. Five-yard penalty, first down. Raiders, fourth time that one of their penalties has given Tampa Bay a first down. Jameis dumps it down to his tight end, Stocker. And Stocker has another Tampa first down. Winston looking deep, and it's incomplete, but a flag is down. Was trying to find Shepard. It'd be Ill illegal contact. Pass interference. Defense number 25. And Shepard was running a double move, and Hayden. Maybe that's a sign he didn't get enough work on it. 11 incompletions today for Winston, but another penalty gives Tampa Bay a first down. Winston is able to complete this one. Five and a half to go, fourth quarter. Second down and five. It's Rodgers trying to reverse field, extra effort, and he's right near the chains. The emotion, get into it. You've got to make the call that your gut is telling you is the right call. Raiders. Just amazing. Unbelievable. Another Raiders penalty gives Tampa Bay a first down. It's first and goal. Winston. Chased by Matt. Keeps it himself. Winston takes a shot. That was a and hit, baby. That's football right there. I love hits like that. 
He gets the call on second and goal. Rodgers gets it in. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. His first touchdown since week one of the 2014 season when he was with the Atlanta Falcons. Well, Jaquiz Rodgers showing that he does know how to sniff out that end zone despite the fact that that it's been so long since he's been in the end zone on a running play, just trusting his blockers up front behind Donovan Smith and Kevin Papfield. Super job up front. So now they go for two, try to make it a seven-point lead. They're one for three on two-point conversions this year. Winston and Trevor. James. Oh. today that's happened the Raiders have been penalized 17 times for 150 yards 17 times for 150 yards that's fucking obscene five yard line Carr has good protection now on the move throws on the run behind Crabtree second and ten Carr Seth Roberts takes a shot but picks up a first down at the 40-yard line. Quan Alexander makes the tackles. Jack Del Rio has been very aggressive this year on the two-point conversion. He went for the win. His car loads up, taking a deep shot and incomplete. to Walford into Tampa Bay territory. All centered around Derek Carr. No huddle for Oakland, not first down. Carr to Cooper. What a catch! Move! Cooper inside the 15. A gain of 31. You know, I, I am almost... At the Man, point when it's when working, Carr, it's a thing of goddamn this, this beauty. This year and, and to this point in his career where in this situation... There aren't many guys I want ahead of him. He just steps up and makes throw after throw after throw. First and 10 from the 12. Carr to Roberts. Get it, get it. No, no. Made the catch but did not get the feet in. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. And from the 12-yard line, they trail by seven. Carr. Looking in zone, and it's incomplete. Intended for Crabtree. Conti and Grimes on the coverage. It's third and ten. Carr. And that pass is troubled and caught by Amori Cooper. Man. What a great job by Cooper to bring that in, but it's short. it's short of a first down. Doesn't I don't care what a catch. Territory. It does set him up for a fourth and short, but they've got to keep their offense. Concentration, on man. Gets the feet down. that the Raiders have taken today, the most crushing one of all is the one the Tampa Bay Buccaneers just got. Right here is where Roberts is and I.J. Bajima right there. You can see him wrapping his hands around him. No doubt with use clock here too if you're the Raiders. They ended up the whole line and before a flag comes in, it's going to be on the offense. <laughs> yep, they jumped. <laughs> what are you doing? You've been doing this all day, and when it comes down where you got a chance to win the game on one play, you can't hold your water? Ball start. Offense number 61. Five yards penalty. First down. That is inexcusable. That's on the center, Rodney Hudson. First to goal. Carr has time. Fires. Caught. Touchdown. Michael Touchdown, Raiders. Jack Del Rio will send out Janikowski for the extra point to tie the game. And through. What a drive. What a 
drive by Derek Carr. They went no huddle. Where only he can catch it. That was a hell of a throw. In the third quarter and then kind of fumble around, penalize himself all over the place. And that one is right down Broadway with 1.38 to go in Cincinnati over in London. We are tied with 1.38 to go. Janikowski kicks it away to Smith who will take a knee. So Tampa Bay will start at the 25-yard line. I hard for this one. I know. You can't hold your water. What the fuck does that even mean? I was wondering if anybody else caught that. <laughs> Was I the only one thinking to myself, what does that even mean? You can't hold your water. Well, I, I, I pissed down my leg? Well, I mean, what, what does that even mean? Winston fires, and Evans cannot hold on. Incomplete. That stops the clock with a minute to cook today. You know, I'm surprised he didn't throw a flag on that play right there. We'll give their offense another chance here. On Joseph, honestly. from his own 25. When that happened in the game, I about I about fell out. I'm sitting in the eighth row, right dead center of those goalposts, <laughs> watching that son of a bitch go. Why? Oh. Sitting and surrounded by a whole bunch of goddamn fake ass pirates. Sixteen Raiders at Bucks. 
is going to have to come out, and it'll be another field goal of longer than 50 yards. Anikowski from 52. And this one is no good! Anikowski misses for the second time. Two chances to win it. And now all Tampa Bay needs is a field goal to win the game. Man, I was losing my mind that day. For time. Winston looking to throw on first down. Going for the home run ball to Mike Evans. Evans, it's incomplete. DJ Hayden on the coverage. And did not return, so Hayden has played a lot more today for Oakland. Winston back to Evans. Has the catch and tackle made at the 41-yard line by Emerson because of a foot injury. Winston, quick pass to Evans. And it's incomplete. Emerson got a hand on that one. It's fourth down. Richard is back deep. Anger leads the NFL in hang time this year. Another beauty bounces and goes into the end zone. So it will be Oakland football at the 20. And now a late penalty flag is coming. <laughs> I know it's like spotting a Yeti, Carlos. Like seeing Bigfoot. See if Lee Hayden didn't blow. He actually leads the Raiders and didn't actually didn't play that bad for Detroit. Next score wins. Call to Crabtree. He's got it at the 15 yard line. On second and five, it's Latinius Murray up the middle to the 30 and dragged down at the 33 yard line. It was Chris Conti who may have saved the touchdown, a gain of 19. This might be the biggest hole I have ever seen in the NFL. Look at that. There is Look at that. That's like something you put on a poster. A complete lack of discipline. From the 34-yard line, Carr, great protection, taking a deep shot down the field. Flag is down. It's caught by Crabtree. Now another flag. The hell was that? It was like the remix. Grimes can't believe it. There's also a flag down at the line of scrimmage. There's two fouls on the play. Holding offense number 72. Pass interference defense number 24. Philly's offset. First down. Donald Penn called for the penalty on the Raiders. That wipes out a 42-yard gain to Crabtree. Trying to go 5-0 and on the road for the first time since 1977. John Madden was their head coach. Carr to Roberts. He threw it to double coverage and it's incomplete. Carr, quick slam to Cooper. He's got it. Cooper. Cooper into Tampa Bay territory and tackled at the 46 yard line. Yards for Carr, a new Raiders franchise record. On first down, it's Washington on the carry and he's stuck. At the line of scrimmage for 173 yards. Carr over the middle to Roberts. He's got it at the 31 and shoved out of bounds. There is a flag down on the far side of the field in front of the Raiders' sideline. The illegal formation uh, offense. Number 74. Jeez. For the love, man. Five yard penalty, second down. Up into their own territory. Flag is down. It's going to be a hold against the Raiders, and now Carr goes down. Holding offense number 66. 10 yard penalty, second down. Wow, they're putting it out of reach. Carr to Walford is tight end. Cuts back at the 45, and now a flag comes in from the secondary. And Seth Roberts is acting like it's on him. The record. Illegal block in the back. Offense number 10. 10 yard penalty. Third down. Third down and 17. Carr to Crabtree. Makes the catch at the 49. And Crabtree is tackled at the 43 yard line. So he's short of a first down. Humphrey's back deep. King punting, trying to pin Tampa Bay deep in their own end. Bounces at the 10, 
And it's down right around the 10 yard line with 4.43 to go. Bay, yet they're tied at 24 in OT. And they start this drive on the ground. Remember, Jaquiz Rogers out with an injury. Oh, we have Mac this game. Smith no Woodson, we got Mac. And Smith with the ball coming out. Mac has a couple sacks this game. No signal yet. Well, the strongest cat gets it down there, and I'm telling you, the devil himself lives at the bottom of an NFL pile, so <laughs> it ain't over till it till they get up and, and separate. And it's Tampa Bay football. Evans up top on third and three. Winston off the hands of Smith and incompletes. Have not returned a punt for a touchdown in eight years. Johnny Lee Higgins, the last man to do it in 2008. This is Richard, and he is crushed. Great coverage by Tampa Bay. I mean, the Raiders have not stopped themselves today. Have, stopped, have not been stopped by Tampa Bay, excuse me. Carr, and a nice catch out of the backfield by Latavius Murray, who stretches forward for a first down. Four on the play clock, Carr out of the shotgun. And that pass is incomplete. Amari Cooper was the target with 2.31 to play. Goal to win the game. Carr dumps it down to Crabtree, and he makes the catch at the 42-yard line. DeAndre Washington is the running back. Carr. And that one is incomplete, looking for Amari Cooper on the sideline. And now what does Jack Del Rio do? Well, he ain't gonna kick. Carr to Roberts, he's got it! It's still on his feet! Roberts! Dang. Touchdown, Raiders. Thank you for joining us, Raider Nation, on another Raider Reaction Black Friday featuring the Silver and Black Theater as we dusted off another classic. We hope it brightens your Friday, finish your week off, get you ready for the weekend with a little late Raider classic victory of taking down the fake-ass Pirates. Bradley McDougal's got to make that tackle. Oh, he no came doubt. in with his shoulder. Look at number 30 right there. He's got a clean shot. He goes in with his shoulder. Hey, knocks his own man off the, off the tackle. He gave him a whole Touchdown, kind of Raiders. Down, I'm out. Thanks for joining us. New and old, Raiders our band of pirates. Know. We appreciate any second you stop in with us on Raider Reaction. Song. Check us out. We'll be bringing you all of the preseason games live. So make sure you stay tuned to the page. Like, follow us, check out our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter. We are out. Peace. Love. Raider Nation.